That is the official victory song for the Denver Broncos going 7-0 against the undefeated Green Bay Packers. This was, it was the best win of the season so far. It was a statement game by the Denver Broncos. The defense held Aaron Rodgers to 76 yards passing. That's insane. Uh, I just have one thing to say about that. Tom Brady, we're coming and we're coming hard. And then we're gonna kick your ass. Oh boy, oh boy. I've got the Kyle Orton jersey on because Let's face it, last time he was in town, there was some weird stuff going on with the starting quarterback, with him, with the team, with the season. And I said, reverse the jersey, put on the, put on the Orton jersey, reverse it, reverse the curse. And Manning in the offense turned it around. Thank you, Matt McKibben, for giving me this jersey to effectively end the offensive woes for the season. Also, did the Broncos beat the Packers tonight because of me? Not entirely, but I had a lot to do with it. Uh, final score of the game, 10-29. That's my birthday, 10-29. You're welcome, Denver fans. Oh boy, there, okay. There's, there's just a lot to be excited about right now. First thing, defense is continuing to play awesome. We shut down one of, if not the best quarterback in the NFL tonight. He did nothing. And the only, the only time the Packers scored is when they were aided by a bullshit roughing the passer call on David Bruton. Oh, because David Bruton's arm accidentally grazes Aaron Rodgers' helmet. That's a fucking uh, automatic first down. You gotta be kidding me, NFL. I'll save that for later. It's hard to be angry when this when with what just happened. It's very hard to be angry. But that basically led to the beginning of the only drive the Packers were able to score. Second thing, we found some tight ends. Virgil Green and Owen Daniels both got heavily evolved, heavily involved in the passing game. That one's for you, Khalid, if you wanna monitor my grammar now. Um, our offensive line, they're starting to click. Michael Schofield at the right tackle position, playing very well. The only time they made mistakes is when Max Garcia was rotating in for Evan Mathis, which if it's to rest his hamstring, I get, but I don't think Mathis ever needs to come out of the game. He's the best offensive lineman we have. Don't take him out because only bad shit happens. But the line played the line played great. Manning sacked zero times. He had time to throw the ball and the running game got going. CJ Anderson and Ronnie Hillman both played well. We saw CJ make some great cuts, break some tackles. He scored a touchdown. Ronnie Hillman, wait, did CJ score a touchdown? Yeah, CJ scored a touchdown. Ronnie Hillman scored two touchdowns. Uh, the Packers, they, they didn't know how to stop the Broncos offense and they have a good defense. It's not like the Packers have been carried by their offense all season. They have a good defense. Demarius Thomas made all of his catches and he got open consistently and Manning hit him deep consistently. Lots of positive things. I'm just gonna keep saying the word positive until my fucking head explodes. And Peyton Manning Eliminated almost all of the mistakes. He threw one interception, and I know there are, there's gonna be some asshole out there who's gonna be like, Peyton Manning still didn't throw a touchdown in that game. I don't know who that guy will be, but he will be out there, trust me. 300 plus yards passing, one pick, zero touchdowns, which is kind of a weird stat line, but when you rush for three, you don't need to throw them. Um, and if he really wanted to, he could have. He, he, he was really just trying to prove a point tonight. Uh, the, the, the Green Bay Packers receivers just couldn't get open. Hand it to Aqib Tlaib, Chris Harris, and Bradley Roby for shutting down Randall Cobb, James Jones, 
and uh, Devontae Adams, who I said wouldn't be a factor in the game because he's coming back uh, after being injured for an extended amount of time. I said that. I said the Broncos were going to win. I was correct. Um, it was just a great win on uh, the night where the Broncos honored their owner, Pat Bowen, inducted him into the Ring of Fame, which he deserves. And as everybody knows, uh, I just want to talk about this real quick. You know, Pat, Pat Bowen uh, is suffering from Alzheimer's disease. My grandpa, who basically turned me into the Bronco fan I am today, he's somebody I watched countless games with, also uh, had Alzheimer's disease, which is just one of the shittiest things you can watch somebody go through. But he was the ultimate Bronco fan. And when we were watching the game tonight, uh, we were talking about him. And when he was, when he had the Alzheimer's and when it was bad, you know, it's a, it's a disease that gets progressively worse over time. And when it got bad, he was in a nursing home and, you know, he, he didn't know what was going on. Sometimes there would be a brief moment of clarity, but the funniest thing that happened is he told us that he had been talking to Mike Shanahan. And uh, Mike Shanahan hadn't been with the Broncos for a while, but uh, my grandpa told him that he'd been calling up Mike Shanahan to help him out with the team and <laughs> to tell him how the team uh, can start playing better. So it was just something I'd sort of forgotten about and we were talking about it tonight and I thought it was a cool story and it really just shows how good of a fan he was. And uh, I thought it was an appropriate night to mention that story. Um, and yeah, that's it. We're, we're seven and oh. And our, we had our first complete game, and I am not scared for when the Patriots come to town. I am I'm actually very excited for that game now, because with our offensive performance, I have the confidence in this team that we can beat anybody. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Give me a follow on Twitter. I'm on Twitter during the entire Bronco game. It's a lot of fun to talk to everybody there. Also, Broncos fans, I want wearing the Orton jersey backwards to become a thing. If you go to the game and you for some reason have a Kyle Orton jersey still, wear it and wear it backwards. It'll show, it, it will show nothing, but together we will all know why, why you're doing it. Also, uh, could you guys start making signs and taking them to the game that says, that's good, Broncos is fucking better than everything else or Brandon Perna is a god. I would really like to see that on national TV one day. Make the sign, take it to the stadium. Is that too much to ask for? I don't think so.